Doggies. Doggies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at them. Oh. Oh, that one's alive. Oh, my goodness. The video is not about doggies. It's about my dome and the construction of it, which has begun anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Well, there you go. There's the hubs. And that's actually the whole periphery of the dome, if you will. Um. Uh, it's gonna be 4.4 meters in diameter. Um, I can't calculate that in feet, but I'll put a little thingy that tells you. 15 square meters is what it's gonna be. That is a few of the hubs that are actually uh, connected, assembled. Yeah, the it's not completely level. Um, how exact everything needs to be and how flexible it uh, will be is for time to tell and me to find out. Yeah, it's um, the dome is in the north end of the garden and that tree we just saw there was facing north. There's the sun coming in. There's the rest of the berry bushes. There's me in the sun and the neighbor's garden in the background anyway um that's my girlfriend's little raspberry bushes um yeah some other berry bushes and there's those dogs again all right okay it's because we're storing the hubs in there just uh regular pvc pipe tubing the stuff that um that's buried underground it's really really oh my goodness oh well I guess it takes a few of them to build a dome as well there's the um, the way I assemble the hubs yeah <clears throat> it's just me panning around anyway oh yeah I'm on the roof now I'm just having a look out over the area so the garden, the herb garden there actually is a mess. There will be some some raised beds and everything, but it uh, it all required the dome to actually be in place um, for me to get everything else there. Oh yeah, pine pollen, pine pollen. Um, tastes pretty fresh. And there is the old dome, my prototype from last year. Um, I'm not entirely finished talking, um, so I'm going to leave this picture on for a while, uh, while I just finish off. The thing with the dome is that it's kind of amazing. It's kind of um, intriguing to be able to put little pieces of, in this case, plastic cordiate or pieces of wood together, and then they actually fit and you make this sphere out of it which is which is amazing and i would like to thank first of all kim farrow a danish guy who is whose dome was the first one i ever saw and then of course Utgar parson because he's really the man um and otherwise well jake from royal utah i was YouTubing domes for quite a while and I saw some stuff and and Deb for web or web for Deb. I don't really remember It's all great inspiration and and YouTube. Oh goodness. I love you YouTube um, Yeah, just for gardening for everything for growing food for yeah, You name it. Um, I'm babbling at the moment. So I'll end the video with this little picture of my little dome thingy from last year which is actually covering my bucket of stolen rock dust well anyway thanks for watching the video